woke up and immediately opened up this package from Elwood. He sent me this cool vintage red and blue sweatsuit. You guys know I love Elwood. I'm wearing a size small in bottoms and large on the hoodie. My past Elwood has been medium hoodie, but I've been wanting it to be extra large on me, so we went for large this time, and I like the oversized fit a lot more. Um, who knows? Might even get medium bottoms next time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love their stuff. My um, link for all their stuff is in my description, and the code is SUMMER10 if you guys want a discount. Okay, so we've got a dilemma. My office is a literal disaster. I'm running out of closet space. These are new. We've got Savage Fenty and Free People. Um, I just have more clothes coming in, running out of hangers. This closet's not even a real closet, which is so fucking annoying that they didn't build anything in here. So these are just like moving racks. Like, who builds a closet without shelving? Like, I just have random bullshit in here. Like, why would they, why would they do this? So, I've got an issue. I think Yaz is calling me. Did you call me? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I got new Elwood. morning hello we're going up to sprouts i have like one hair that's sticking out no we're going to bed bath and beyond baby we're not getting food oh for food oh whoops <laughs> i thought we were gonna get oh what many weeks sprouts doesn't have many weeks do they they have like all the fake version of cereals and stuff i think they do because where else did I get mini weeks from? AJ's. I'm like, Spots doesn't actually carry brands that we know. Okay. AJ's. Okay. But then. Like, they don't even carry craft products. <laughs> yeah. But then I'd have to come back for the bowl and milk. Unless I just buy milk at AJ's. Like a little small milk. And then, like. Or a plastic bowl and spoon. You're trying to eat the cereal? Yeah. You can come back. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I was just saying because you wanted to go to bed, have it be off. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Okay. I was like, um. Hmm. <laughs> All the camera's going to hear is. Mm. What is my hair? Yeah, we gotta figure that out right now. Here, can you pick this real quick? Let me check this. Okay, well, we're gonna figure it out. Ring. Fine, ring. Okay, Yaz is making a reservation. Yaz is the reservation guy. Yeah, reservation at, at Henry. For Look two. at that. Watch us show up like 30 seconds late. Yeah, we gave your table away, but like we have this like. Look at this thing in the we, corner. We have this, this it table. looks like you're jerking off under the Oh, sorry. Like. <laughs> we, have, we have this table in the bathroom if you guys want to take it. <laughs> Please. Right? Okay, I have the red Elwood set, so I think Yaz is going to wear it. So we're going to look like Teletubbies today. Yes, sir, we are. Let's, let's get a review of our favorite sweatsuit company. Elwood, right? Elwood. This is the crew neck. You haven't had the crew neck. You've only had a hoodie. I like the snakes. They, ha they gave us a t-shirt, too, if you want the t-shirt. This is it in blue. They gave it to me in red. Yaz and I share clothes. Well... Really only sweats. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> His pants are so big. I know, this is a hoodie. Oh, wow. Uh, just Actually, you know what? I kind of like you in hoodies anyways. Yeah. I don't like you in crewnecks, so that works. All right. First impressions. You haven't had the large. Do you like the large? Um, this is a large hoodie? It still looks small on you. Yeah, this is large. 
Why does it still look because small? I'm an XL, baby. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm okay, next. All right, we're gonna go now. Guys, look at how bad my hair looks. <laughs> Try to make it worse. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm joking, okay, okay, we'll make it worse. Is it bumpy up here? Is that it? You're like, it just overall looks bad. I'm like, you look hideous. <laughs> I'm just joking. Sometimes it looks like a cute French little bob, but then sometimes it looks like a bowl cut. Yep. It needs to grow out more. Yep. I need to never get this haircut again. I, yeah, I'm surprised you actually got so short. Um, yeah. Fit check. Oh wow, look at that lighting. It looks terrible. <laughs> the yeah, camera. Yeah, really bad. Ew. Anything you'd like to say? Um, I don't like my haircut. Okay. There you are. Anything you'd like to say? I don't like the full set. <laughs> Yeah, you look like Santa Claus. It's like divided, you know what I mean? Like it looks like I'm screaming, yeah, like red and blue. Is all <laughs> okay, got a fruit bowl. Ooh, look at that chicken shack. <laughs> I just call every chicken burger a chicken shack. <laughs> In our fight last night, I was like, "Did you make the chicken?" When you said that, I was like, "He's actually fucking." Like, how did you look at me seriously saying I, chicken I shack? That's why when I saw you on the couch, I got pulled up and I was like, like smiling. I was like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> Crying about a chicken shack. I was like, "What are you doing?" Look at that. We're getting a juicer. Mm -hmm. Finally settled on one. Woo! Woo the lady sees us on the streets, you know. She's, she's like, like eyeing us, like, mm. Mm. Traitor. Trying to fucking eat the gravel. Mm. We bought a bunch of fruit. We got some ginger, some lemon, pineapple, lots of apples, coconut water, two watermelons, mango and strawberries for our juice today. Oh, you're using hot water. I didn't realize. Okay, we're cleaning our fruits. Yeah, this is cutting up the pineapple. They said to thoroughly wash your fruit. I'm glad we finally have a knife that's good. So yeah, that, knife. that knife is super nice. It's German, guys. $200 knife. This better work. Yeah, it's super nice. I just cut up some lemon, ginger. Make make sure, don't do it straight down. You have to like curve it down because you're cutting off half the pineapple meat. Like that? See, look, all the meat's in there. Oh, I see, There's okay. So I just like curve it out? Like, um, cur like around it. That's what I'm doing. Because if you're shaving oh. it. Yeah, that was better, babe. I hate the holes. Guys, the holes give me heebie-jeebies. I hate it. Here's the juicer. It's the Crocs Artisan series. So all you do is put the fruit in here and like push it down. And the juice will end up in here in this pitcher. And the fibers and the pulp will end up in here. We just watched um, YouTube videos on how to juice properly. So we know all of the juicer jargon and information to sound like professionals. <laughs> the professional juicers. Woohoo! Okay. I'm gonna try the lemon first. Okay, it's on. Oh. <laughs> so you just put it in there. Uh -huh. Are you recording? Yeah. I have to see. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> hey, look how good this chops. Wow. Sorry. Okay, lemon's in. Can I watch? Yeah. Wait, wait, no, I can watch. The lemon's in there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Go, go, go. But you gotta turn it on, right? Yeah. It smells so good! Oh my god! 
It just chopped that thing up so quick. Oh, I guess you just leave it on. Yeah, you leave it on. Maybe. Watermelon. Her. Her. Whoa. So <laughs> that looks so good. That's so much juice. Yeah. Right, guys I completely organized my closet I'm so proud we got all of my black pants we've got like different fabrics here like soft satin stretchy and then we've got all the leather denim and then we move on to dark wash denim light wash brown pants cargos brown leather random ones some shoes down there these are all of my dresses and all of my like very avant-garde, I guess, pieces. You know, like this crazy Paco Rabanne skirt that I wore in Dubai. Um, this amazing area skirt that I still have not worn. This cutie dress. Um, this other Paco Rabanne skirt I wore on my birthday. I wore this in Rome. I wore this in the Maldives. Just a lot of stuff. Wear this in Paris. So this is where all my crazy dresses are. But it's so neat now. And then I brought out some summer shoes. We've got some more color coming in. And I shoved all my purses in by the side. They're no longer showing their faces because I was running out of space. And then we've got all of my tops and some dresses that are very long that were dragging up here. I just moved them over here and color coded everything by the rainbow. These are miscellaneous jackets and sweatshirts I didn't organize by color, but starting with all my tops and my blouses, it's all coordinated by color. I'm obsessed. I got rid of some jackets. We have this whole chunk that I got rid of. Um, and this whole bag right here is mini skirts. I ordered, um, I ordered skirt hangers. So those are coming on Monday and all those mini skirts need to be hung up. Where you ask? I don't know. Maybe up there, but yeah. And I've been watching if you can hear in the background. <laughs> Should probably pause that. So I've been watching... Just like that, the spinoff of Sex in the City all day. Um, what else did we do? We juiced. Um, here are all of the winter clothes. I took all of my winter jackets and I put them in a plastic bin. You can't really see underneath because there's a ton of coats stacked on top. All of these, I guess, are going to go live in my car because we don't have any space for it here. These are clothes I'm going to donate to Goodwill. And I cleaned my office. My office was a literal mess. Oh my gosh. So now there's nothing on this couch. I put all of my PR boxes together. Need to unbox those. These are clothes. Like I need to make a Valentine's Day outfit with this. I need to take a picture in this shirt. I need to take a picture in this. So this is like a work rack. But I moved all of my winter stuff and my clothes that I don't wear in here. And it's like overflowing. Look at that bucket. And this rack doesn't even fit. Um, like, I don't know what to do with these clothes. I don't hate them. And I don't want to sell them. 
but I also don't have like the best spot for it. I wish this closet was like real, a real closet. But yeah, I organized all of this. Um, put all my tall boots over here. That's a bucket of shoes that needs, I need more like racks in space. I really wish this closet had more, but that's not the case. So now I'm going to go meet Yaz at Sizzle. He wants Korean barbecue. I don't know if I'm going to eat. I'm like full. I ate two pieces of pizza earlier, but I'm still wearing the same sweatsuit. My dynamite leather jacket. My little Bottega. I never wear her. My Celine's. Okay. I think that's it. I did some laundry too. Look at me. I'm being so productive. Laundry. Bed is not made, but I did a little bit of just cleaning around. I cleaned off this chair. This chair, everybody has that chair where you throw a bunch of shit on it. We clean that off. Bathroom's looking eh. So, um, yeah. I blame my mom for my incessant cleaning all the time. But we're going to go to Sizzle now. I'm trying to think if I ate anything while you, while... I was charging the camera. I really didn't eat anything. I just had like a slice of pizza. And just binge TV all day. Um, and then started cleaning. Low key, I forgot I was vlogging. But, okay. I'm gonna go to my car now. Oh, also, I found my wallet. I was like missing my wallet for a day or two. But I found it after cleaning my office. So, if you guys are missing something, it's probably because you haven't cleaned. So go clean. Okay. I got all my crap. We're gonna transfer it into this purse. Hopefully I don't lose this. Okay, bye. Down! Mmm, see you guys. How you about your block here? We're back, I picked this chicken up. Thank you, baby. Uh, lost my sports betting. Lost my voice. Lost, lost. my dignity. The uh, Nets, yeah. Brooklyn Nets. Wait. Now I'm losing my dignity because I'm not a cool guy. <laughs> We're having a debate about if I'm cool or not. Cool and cringe guys that he knows, and I didn't label him as a cool guy, so now he's his ego hurts. I, actually, it doesn't hurt at all because I like when you're so real, you just know. Right. You know what I mean, like I know I'm a cool guy. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'm not a cool girl. So, yeah, I know. Like, you're not cool, but like, I'm the cool one. You're the cringe one. That's why, like, I like have to pull you out. I'm the cringe one. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Show them your Lacoste sandals. And the Lacoste. Okay. So she's trying to make fun of my Lacoste sandals that have been all over the world. Like, they're nice sandals. Like, do I need a pair of $300 Gucci? No. Like, I got a $40 pair of Lacoste that I got from Macy's in 2016, no. and she's trying to, you know, come at me for them. I I don't know if like my I think you're just because I'm guy. I don't just because I'm like not a material girl. Material girl. I have Lacoste sandals. Kind of a cool thing. Cool deal. I I think you're my cool guy. Well, I may be your cool guy, but I'm like the cool guy. Okay. Like guys, you know, you have a guy that drives a Ferrari, but that was his last car. It's kind of a cool guy. Like, if I drove a Tesla, I'd be kind of another basic guy. Oh, you know, yeah, like, so you know, good. driving Ferraris, you know, living in mansions. That's kind of a cool guy thing. I mean, hey, you've never seen cool. Just wait for it. Okay. Yeah? I, I, I like the background they have this, by the way. It's kind of a nice background. <laughs> You're in a good mood. Yeah, yeah. It's really good mood. 
Well. We're home. And I'm stuffed. Oh my gosh, my self-tanner. <laughs> Go to bed now. Good night, guys.